our building in Arkansas. Been there about 10 years. Um, kind of amazing to a lot of people that aren't familiar with it uh, to have a, a, an entire building dedicated to poultry research. And when we hatched our breeding stock, um, we got a surprise. We had these little black, downless, naked chickens hatch. And, you know, when they first hatch, they kind of look like little pterodactyls or something. I don't know. They just looked really weird. These are about uh, 10 days old, maybe. But if you can see on them, they don't have scales on their legs. This is just skin all the way down to their feet and legs, and, which causes a whole another set of problems. I crossed them. They don't naturally mate, so we had to use artificial insemination. I crossed them with them to see what we were going to get, and lo and behold, our um, little chicks popped out, and we did get uh, rid of the, the little down on them. Okay, looking at a residue breakout, we kind of went through this yesterday. Basically take egg, break open the top, start identifying the little membrane, identifying the embryo, and oh, wait a minute. This is eating one of them. This is not what we want to do. Kind of in summarizing up, just kind of keeping good data, keeping good information, identifying flocks equipment, knowing what they're supposed to do, and doing something with your records. And, that, and I think that's one of the most important things is don't generate all this and do nothing with it.